Papa Ross here. We are in Alaska. I just love the sound of the running water. Go in and check it out, Elliot. Check, see if there's any bears hibernating in there. That's pretty cool. Why does it say trap on there? Because it's a trap house. <laughs> hey, Lee. They catch bears. Papa Ross. Goes to Alaska. Goes for a hike. Runs out of water. Knees go out. Help. In Florida, I tell my wife when we go on too long of a bike ride, send a tow truck. Well, I'm by myself. I went a little too far. <laughs> you got to send a helicopter. I've been hiking for, feels like days. My feet are killing me, my knees are wore out. I had to find shelter. I think I'm gonna be okay, I'm not sure. Just kidding. Check this out. Nice little fire pit. And look at the view. What else can you say except wow? So in the good book, it talks about people not having an excuse for not believing in God. And I have to agree with that. <clears throat> and then it goes on to say, is his evidence or his power and is evident in nature. And that's, that's all I think about when I see how beautiful his creation is. I'm in awe. <laughs> if you guys want to call this an accident, go ahead. It's not an accident to me. Wow, check it out. Ann and Steven, I just want to thank you for getting me to Alaska. If mom would have said, hey, hon, I want to go on a trip to Alaska. I would have oh, that sounds cool. But if she would have said, oh, we're going to have to fly on three different planes and have layovers and, and two different five-hour flights and I would have, and leave at four, I'd be like, nope, not leaving at four in the morning. Nope. Where Hannah's like, hey, dad, I'm taking care of all the details. Will you go with us? I'm like, okay, sure, let's go. So, oh, it's so funny. I just went for a super long hike. One of my, one of the YouTube guys I like is Subcam, and he ran across America. Forrest Gumped it. Well, I feel like I've been walking for days, and I walked from Florida to Alaska. That's how my feet feel. And that is so funny. Uh, look at this. So I want to show you something they do different in Alaska. So when we go to North Carolina or Georgia or Tennessee, and, you, and you're hiking and all the beautiful rocks and everything they do peace rocks you know they pile up the rocks and make them real cool you know big medium small well it seems like the thing to do to here is to just build shelters with the leftover wood it's all along here there's different shelters people just go grab the logs it's an alaskan thing
Isn't that awesome? Found another shelter. Has anybody else heard heard it said like this? Just resting my dogs here in Alaska. And I don't mean the mush team, I mean my feet. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go down there and find Elliot. He's playing in the mud. I found a mud dauber. I found a muddy Elliot in the Alaskan mud. Maybe all that mud will keep the mosquitoes away. I hear the mosquitoes are really large. Like that big. The moose are large and the mosquitoes are large. All right, let's go see what our neighbor's house looks like. Let's go check out the neighbors. I hear we have new neighbors. Oh, look, we have new neighbors. Hey, oh man, you're, Love yours is, you have a double, you have a two room. We've got a, a this is our basement back here. Look at these Second guys back floor. here. Second floor. They wow. made a bed. <laughs> it's bigger inside than it looks. Wow. We have a room with a view, feet. but we don't have the, we didn't have the double condo. It's about 2500 a month. Because of the view. Oh, nice. well, this is what you get when you raise a moose on a bottle. The only reason he is this friendly is because he is a bottle raised baby. When he got. Caleb, come here, buddy. Caleb, you want to touch his antlers? Don't touch his antlers. Oh, they're very sensitive. Oh, they're very soft. It's hardening off right now, but they, it won't come oh, off until yeah. September, October. Mm -hmm. And then he'll drop his antlers in January. Mm -hmm. Well, there's bone inside that, for example. And that bone antler is forming in there. And these would probably be about 48 inches across. Cool. Alaska is a little different than Florida. You find ice on the beach. Look at that. There's ice on the beach. Look at that cold, cold beach. Look, that looks like an ice whale. That looks like an ice shark. An ice shark? There's an ice shark. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Elliot. Throw it. Go ahead. Uh, you missed. This is a, it's on. Oh. All right, Ellie, go for it.
Here we are in Alaska. Seward. That's the cabin we're staying in. And guess what I'm in? Here, we'll walk through. I just had to climb in here. When I was a kid, if we would have went camping somewhere like this, I would have saw this. I would have been, Daddy, 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 can I go, can I go, can I go? So I'm over here by myself. Ellie didn't even come with me. This reminds me of the magic bus in that movie about the survival guy in Alaska. Don't ask me how I'm going to do this. Going down. We were in the choo choo train. Seward. The Alaskan Railroad. Sea fog. Can't see the glaciers. Not much to see here. All right, Alaska train number two. Going up. to do this again later when, when it's got a killer view of the glaciers or the mountains. Abandoned railroad car in Alaska. Papa Ross is out exploring. So this was Miller's campground, and that was the rocket cabin over there, there's the train cars, there's the cabin we were staying in, there's the old rotten train car, or whatever kind of, and I want to go for a little walk down the beach and see that big old tree stump. There's the tidal pools, and then there, that's from coming down the mountain, all the fresh water going into the bay. Let's go this way.
an airplane up there somewhere. No other products at all um, to keep those things running well for you. And just a note on that, um, we've, uh, we've had a little bit of difficulty with the flushing system. The buttons are very, very tricky. Uh, just have some patience with those. Uh, There we go. Yay! How oh, cool. Wow. Okay. Sound like a wild mountain lion. Oh. Go. Oh. It's, it's a wild Elliot. It's, a, it's an Elliot in the snow on top of a mountain. This is our expedition team. Hey, I think I see something. It's a sas. Ooh. I think I see something. Who is that? Hey! Hey, it's Billy! I found him! Where's Billy? Where's Billy? I can't believe we found Billy out in the Alaskan wild. Billy, what do you think of Alaska? What's going on? It's awesome. I love it. Really nice weather. It's, uh, it's been an awesome, awesome vacation. All right, we found cool we found them here in Alaska, trying to hide away. <laughs> All right, thanks, Billy.